Hello, in my previous video, I have shown how to create a user. And in this video, I am going to show you how to give a permission to a user for a particular database. This is a user Tom, which we have created in our previous tutorial. Now let's go to database and create a new database. If you see over here, I'm logged in with the administrator using Windows authentication. Let us give this database a name, test1 and then click OK. Once this is done, right click on the user Tom and then click on properties. Go to user mapping. Here you are going to find all the databases available in SQL Server. So first thing what we have to do is to select the database. Now there are different types of permissions are available. I have selected DB owner. This way user will have full control on this particular database. Then click OK. Click on the refresh button. Now right click on the database and go to properties. From the properties window click on permissions. Here you can see the user Tom for which we have given the permissions. Let's click on OK. Now let us disconnect from the admin user and log in with the user Tom. Click on the disconnect button and then click on connect. On the connection window, click on the authentication drop down and then select SQL Server Authentication. Enter the login username Tom. Enter the password. Click on the checkbox Remember Password. Then click on Connect. Now we are logged in with the user Tom. Let us go to the database test 1, expand the database, expand the tables and let us create a new table. Right click on the tables new table. On the column name I am going to enter test and then press Ctrl S to save the value. I am going to name this table test. Now click on the tables folder and right click then refresh. Here you can see the user has created a table. This means the user has got the permission on this database. It completes our this video tutorial. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, if you would like to support our channel, click on the join button.